Senator, yesterday the uh, ANAO, uh, the National Australian Audit Office, published a bombshell report into the collection of North West Shelf royalty revenue. ANO found the $5 billion worth of deductions were claimed by oil and gas companies, despite many of these deductions not being permitted on the Commonwealth royalty schedule. They also found that it had been 17 years since the Department of Industry audited the oil and gas companies' procedures for royalty calculations. Senator, how many hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue have gone begging because of this basic lack of scrutiny? And will the government be establishing a multi-department task force into fixing this mess? The Minister for Finance, representing the Treasurer, Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr uh, President. Uh, strictly speaking, that is actually a question for my good friend and colleague, uh, Senator Canavan, who is responsible for uh, royalty arrangements uh, through the resources portfolio. Uh, but let me just uh, respond on behalf of the government in an abundance of helpfulness, as always, and as ever, uh, for Senator Rich Wilson. Uh, the government uh, has uh, welcomed the uh, National Audit Office uh, report. We have uh, accepted all of the recommendations, and I see Senator Canavan nodding. And, and of course, we are uh, swiftly uh, implementing all of those recommendations. And, uh, and indeed, uh, over the last financial year, I believe uh, that uh, the department and the audit office have uh, worked together to assess how collections uh, in relation to royalty. Uh, royalty streams have uh, been conducted and uh, all of the royalty revenue has been absolutely and fully uh, been received accordance, uh, in accordance with the law. Now, obviously, the government is always, the government is always uh, happy and keen uh, to uh, take on board any suggestions on how arrangements can be improved.